Loss of Radicals. Before we proceed further, I will assume that you have already watched my previous video about the 8th law sub exponent. And this is the 9th law of exponent, which says uh, x raised to m over n is equal to the nth root of x raised to m. So this is what we call the rational exponent. So notice that the exponent here is a fraction. So if the exponent is a fraction, we can transform this into this expression. And this expression is what we call the radical expression, where n here is called the index. This symbol is called the radical sign. And the expression under the radical sign is called the radicand. So this rational exponent, uh, this law, serves as the transition from an exponent going to radical expressions. Okay, so in our given example here, x raised to 2 thirds, so the exponent is a fraction. So it means this can be written into radical form, and that is cube root of x squared. So we just uh, uh, draw a radical sign. Then the base here will be the radicand. The numerator will be the exponent of the radicand. And the denominator will be the index. For given number 2, same process, y raised to 1 half. So since the exponent is fraction or rational, this can be transformed into a radical form, and that is square root of y raised to 1. However, uh, not all of us are familiar with seeing this uh, index of 2 because uh, this can be simplified into square root of y. So when we see this uh, radical sign, uh, it is assumed that it has an index of 2 here. Okay, so to simplify that, you can remove that one. So this exponent of 1, this can also be removed. y raised to 1 can simply written into y according to the law of exponent number 2. For example number 3, 16 raised to 1 half. So same process with number 2 here. We can write this into square root of 16 raised to 1. Or you can simply write this into square root of 16. But square root of 16 can still be uh, simplified, and that is 4, and this will be our final answer. Okay, for the loss of radicals, our law of radical number 1 says that nth root of a raised to n is equal to uh, this one, the radicand itself. So we can just simply cancel them. Whenever that the index and the exponent of the radicand are the same, just cancel them and this will be the answer. So given cube root of x cubed, so we know that the answer here is this one. That is x. Given uh, square root of 7 squared, since we know that this radical here, uh, it has an index of 2. So if we're going to cancel them, so our answer here is 7. And lastly, so it, uh, this form is a little bit different in, uh, different in numbers 1 and 2, but actually they're just the same. So you can also simplify them. So the answer here is 5. Okay, for the law of exponent number 2, this tells us that nth root of a times b is equal to nth root of a times nth root of b. So it means we will just distribute the index to each of the radicands. So I'll give an example here, fifth root of x times y. So we can simply write this into fifth root of x times fifth root of y. Given a cube root of 2x, so this can be written into cube root of 2 times cube root of y. For the law of radicals number 3, uh, nth root of a over b. So it is just similar with number 2. So we can uh, distribute uh, the index to the radicand a over b. So that is nth root of a over nth root of b. Example, so 7th root of x over y. So this can be uh, written into 7th root of x over 7th root of y. Given nth root of a over 9, this can be written into nth root of a over nth root of 9. And last, for the loss of radicals number 4, the nth root of nth root of a is equal to m times nth root of a. So if you will see uh, two indices here, just simply multiply them. 
and it is now in its simple form. So example, uh, cube root of x root of 5. So we can uh, simplify this into uh, 3x root of 5. You just simply multiply 3 times x and that is 3x. Last example, 4th root of 5th root of 5. So this can be written into uh, 4 times 5 or 4 times 5th root of 5. And finally, that is 20th root of 5. That's so easy.